Hey, well, good afternoon. My name is Mike Grubb. I am president and CEO of the Southern Gas Association, headquartered here in Dallas, Texas. We're a large regional gas association, a 501c6, a little over 100 years old. Uh, we represent the gas industry, the natural gas industry. Here today to talk about crucial conversations. I've been asked to talk about some crucial conversations that I've had with members of our board of directors and, and how how those worked, uh, what, what went into making those successful, and, and what that meant to our organization. And I, I'm going to talk about my relationship with our board of direct, with the chairman of our board. Uh, Bill Cantrell was the chairman of our board in 2009. I had just gotten the position. I was new to this position in January of 2009 and, and uh, didn't know Bill very well. And I think two things uh, when you think about crucial conversations and how you can have success in that area is, is first of all get to know your chairman very well, as well as you can, develop a good working relationship with them. Uh, and then when you have bad news and you have things that you need to talk about, crucial conversations are generally conversations you just as soon not have. And if you know you need to have those, have them early on. Just get them out in the open and, and get, them, get some discussion going around. So let me give you an example. Last year, uh, Bill took over uh, January 1 of 09 as our chairman, and uh, we set up a series of conference calls between the two of us, regularly scheduled conference calls. Got to know him pretty well through the first quarter of last year. Spent some time with him in April at, at a meeting, and then actually in July, flew out to his offices in Tampa, Florida, and spent some time with him, going through a number of our programs. And I think that half year spending developing that relationship with him really paid big dividends because uh, it was in September, as we all know, the economy was a real challenge last year. Uh, in September last year, we identified some, uh, some real uh, it, challenges that we had on our budget. And we were going into a November board meeting where we were going to need to communicate some of those things. And uh, Bill actually got on a plane and flew here to Dallas. And I really attribute our, the success of our conversation because of our good working relationship that we had built over the year. And I asked him to come to Dallas because I needed to talk to him about a couple of things, some, 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 some very critical things to our business. And one was I had identified uh, what I thought was a need to make some shifts in our staff. I thought there was a position on our staff that was just not necessary anymore. Uh, and, and that was a critical position, uh, but I thought that we could cover that position with some other talent that we had. And I thought for a number of reasons uh, that that needed to be made. That was a popular position, and the person that sat in that position was a popular person with my chairman. But he got here to Dallas, we talked through it, we talked through the reasoning behind it, what it would mean to our organization, how we would, we would pick up the roles and responsibilities within that section and within that position, what things didn't need to go forward, what the future of that, that position looked like. And he agreed with me after a long, crucial conversation with him. He agreed with me. And here we are six months later and feel good about that decision, uh, as does he. Uh, also, on, on that day when he was here, uh, we spent time going over our budget. And we had, like so many of you out there, uh, had really uh, struggled with some of our meetings in 2009. We had one particular meeting that we probably should have made the decision to just not host. And we made the decision to go forward with it. Right, wrong, or indifferent, that's what we decided to do. And, uh, and, it, and it, it was a big uh, red mark on our budget and we were going to have to present that to the board of directors and we were going to have to explain why we did what we did and by talking to my chairman spending some time here in this office with him talking through the reasons why the, why we went forward with the meeting what our plans were for the future of that piece of our business and how we were going to uh... to to help uh... reshape our budget uh... going forward we had about five more months four more months left in the year you know what were some of the things we were going to do to to try to shore up some of those shortfalls. And, uh, and we, we had some good back and forth give and take. He didn't agree with everything. Uh, he had some good ideas that I didn't at first agree with, but then we went on to implement. And, and what happened was we went into our board meeting in November with uh, about a 15% downturn in our, in our meetings net, a big part of our budget. And he already knew it. He had already had the opportunity because of our crucial conversation to socialize that with some of our other board members. And the, and the conversation with the board, we have a big board, 30 people on our board, 
uh, went very smoothly, I felt. And, and, they, and many of them knew what the news was going to be like because they'd already had uh, been told in, uh, in various uh, formats and various forums uh, kind of what was going on with us as far as, uh, as, far as our financials. Uh, and then they were prepared at that meeting to offer even more good ideas. So because of those, those things, the, the, the building the relationship and getting the bad news out as quickly as you can and trying to seek buy-in with, uh, with your chairman, uh, I think we're much better positioned for a successful for 2010. Good luck with your crucial conversations.